Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Hamdog Hype and welcome back to the channel. So today we have our third box out of our case slash display of the 25th anniversary Legendary Collection. This will be the third box that we open up out of five. And if you're new to these boxes, the way they work is they have six packs of the reprint of these, uh, the, these sets and then have six cards plus one of these six cards is in the core century rare or the QCR form. And we've already pulled all of them, but it would be really nice to pull a couple more blue eyes so we can have a set of three and then a set just for our master set. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. Our last box opening was insane. So that one was almost, that one was like nine, 10 minutes long. I, I, do, I don't like to drag these on for too long, but sometimes if you get amazing pulls, that's what happens. And we're, we're, we're kind of overdue for a dud box. So hopefully this one is not a dud box, but it does happen every now and then. Here are these six cards I was talking about with the seven card in the back being the QCR. If you turn it around, you can kind of tell if it's a monster or a god card. So we'll kind of not spoil it. Uh, let's see if I can just put that off. There we go. I almost I almost just turned the card around for some reason. I, the card around for some reason, I'm not sure. Anyways, that was Obelisk. This is Slifer, Raw, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Black Dragon. And we got an Obelisk. Very, very cool. So now we have... We, out of this box so far, we pulled Red Eyes, uh, Slifer, and Obelisk. And this Obelisk, oh boy, he is terribly centered. I guess I guess it's not terrible. Just looks really bad on my end. Anyways, we'll put that one in the back. And as far as the packs go, so this is how I this is the opposite order when I open them. We end with Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders prior to that, Spell Ruler prior, Pharaoh Servant, IOC, and then we start with Dark Crisis. That's just the order I've always done it in. I thought that was the order they were released just backwards, but apparently that is not the order they release backwards. I don't really care. That's just how the order I do it in. So we'll start with Dark Crisis. The problem with Dark Crisis is there's no booster box associated with this reprint. As far as I know, I haven't been able to find one and I don't think there's any like actual one. So the only way to complete a master set is, is to just open up these legend collection boxes and just hope that you pull hollows. <laughs> and we pulled quite a bit of hollows. Um, so there's quite a bit we're missing. We've already pulled two out of the eight ultras from these, but we still haven't pulled any secret rares from the Dark Crisis pack. I think every other pack we've pulled a secret rare so far from these boxes, but still not Dark Crisis. Uh, even even with that said, the the secrets are pretty cheap. But anyways, Agito, uh, Gayaku Garabanda, Ray of Hope, Shooting Star, Shooting Star Bow, okay. Gaga Gigu, I don't know if I pulled this one yet, actually. Desperate Archfiend, ooh, Meta Metalizing Parasite, Luna Knight. So we may have not pulled a Hollow, but let's see. Nope, uh, Precious Cards from Beyond. So no hollow from there. I think we those, a few of those commons were actually missing, which is, that's pretty good. And I think that rare too. Anyway, second, uh, sorry, second pack of this video is gonna be Invasion of Chaos. We are only missing three cards from Invasion of Chaos. Unfortunately, they're all Ultras, Strike Ninja, Dark Mission of Chaos, and Leave a Dragon. So chances of pulling an Ultra from these is not super common, but it is doable. We pulled a lot of Ultras from these packs. Um, I don't know if we pulled an uh, IOC Ultra yet, but we, I think we pulled two secrets from these boxes, which is insane from IOC. But anyways, Chaos Greed, Heart of the Underdog, one of my favorite cards. Uh, DD, um, DD Borderline, Spirit of the Pilot Greed, Inferno. Ooh, like cool. So it looks like we do have a hollow. Let's see what it is, because we have two more cards left. That means we usually have a hollow. Ooh, it's a monster. <gasps> Ooh, 2600. Is this Tyranno again? It could be Beast of Talwar. Oh no, I forgot about Leave a Dragon. Oh my God, we pulled an ultra we actually needed. Dude, that is insanely rare. It is absolutely insanely rare to pull an ultra you need from these boxes especially with all the boxes we open up so holy crap we actually pulled leave a dragon sorry i mistaken this in my head with pharaoh's servant for some reason so i was like oh that might be the beast of tower not even realizing that leave a dragon had 2600 attack points this monster is insane if you um control yumi you can send you send it to the field and destroy everything on the on the field and you just attack directly this this card's insane actually has another version to it uh, from the structure decks, which is even better, but holy crud, we actually pulled an ultra we needed. That's insane. Look at the centering on that. The centering on that is not bad. Holy crud. So the star is really aligned for that card. Whoa, I can finally cross out Leave a Dragon Diodalus from our set list. Holy crud. I keep a little, it's a little chicken scratch, but I do keep a little bit of like a record there. So uh, we finally crossed that out. So wow, we only have two more ultras from IOC. I might just buy another box now. I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't think I have a, a spare box of IOC left over. Anyways, wow, that I'm sorry that took so long to go over that, but that was insane. Hopefully we can pull another Ultra, but Pharaoh Servant's a unique set we have. So 
This one, we still need two Ultras, which is one of them is Thousand Eyes Restrict and one of them is Beast of Tower. But we still need a Super, which is Gear Free the Iron Knight. After all our Pharaoh Servant boxes, I think we've opened up like four or five. We still have not pulled those cards. I think the reason is, is because we've pulled so many Ceasefires. We've literally pulled so many Ceasefires. Um, and so the world has not done Ceasefire. So, interestingly enough. Anyways, we've got a Deep Sea Warrior. Gamble. Four Star Ladybug. Shadow of Eyes. Solomon's Law Book, Thousand Eyes Idol, Souls of the Forgotten, Vampire Baby. It feels, seems like there's only one card left, so the chance of having a hollow is not guaranteed. I don't know what this is. Oh, Earthshaker. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's no hollow in there. If the rare is the fourth card in the pack, then there's a hollow behind it. Even if the rare is the fifth card in the slot, there's still a chance for a hollow to be behind it. So when I do the pack trick, I do three from the back. Anyways, next pack is going to be Spellbinding Circle. Uh, spell, sorry, Spellbinding Circle. Next pack is Spell Ruler, and the last card we're missing from this is Mystical Space Typhoon, which is an Ultra Rare. Which, this is the number 47, so hopefully we can pull that. That would be really cool to pull Mystical Space Typhoon, because that means we are done with this set. I actually have a booster box remaining, which I might just keep in my collection if we pull the Mystical Space Typhoon from one of these boxes. But anyways, uh, Darkness Approaches, Horn of Light, Giant giant Turtle Feeds on Flames. I can never get that one right. It just throws me off that the way it's like spelled. Hayu Zanryu, so this is the second to last card, so there's not guaranteed a hollow. It is a spell card. It is not, it's Malevolent Muzzler, unfortunately. All right, so not a great pack there, but hey, we already pulled an Ultra, so that's good. Uh, the second last pack is Metal Rares, my favorite set of all time. I've also opened like five or six of these boxes, and we're still missing four Ultras. It's because we, we've dolled up on so many Ultras, but the Ultras we're missing are Summon Skull, Barrel Dragon, Seven Tools of Bandit and Mirror Force. So if we pull one of those, that'd be really cool. Preferably, I would really like to pull Summon Skull. One of my favorite mods of all time. So if we pull Summon Skull, I can finally say we have all the fusion materials and even the polymerization. Anyways, we got Hibic. Actually, that's not true. We have not pulled the... We haven't pulled the Red Eyes Black Dragon either. So actually, we're missing a lot for Black Skull Dragon. This is the rare. So let's see if we pulled... Oh, oh no. What is that? 2,500 by 2,400. Is that an Ultra? Barrel Dragon, maybe? Suijin! Oh, how can I forget about Suijin? Sorry, I saw 2500, I'm like, no way, this is Summon Skull. But the 2400 threw it off, because I know Summon Skull is like 1200. Everyone knows that one. He's a six star monster with 2500 attack points. This guy's seven. Bro, this guy sucks. Anyway, <laughs> that's cool that we pulled that though. Super is a super at the end of the day. All right, last pack from this video. Sorry, from this set, we're missing Red Eyes Black Dragon, Monster Reborn, the right arm of Exodia, and Exodia himself. So hopefully we can pull one of those. I have pulled both Dark Magician and Blue Eyes from these boxes. So it'd be nice to finally end up the big three with a Red Eyes. Ooh, that card is damaged. I really hope that's not a hollow. That might actually be a hollow and it's damaged. Oh, that sucks. Anyways, Tripwire Beast, Dragon Treasure, One-Eyed Shield Dragon. I don't know how to say that. Masaki Legendary Warrior, Raise Body Heat. Ooh, we didn't, I don't know. There's a chance we did not pull a hollow. Let's see. Ooh, okay, we only need one spell card, and that is Monster Reborn. Nope, all right, so it's just a regular card. All right, so anyways, this was, a, I think this was an actually great opening. And sorry, this lasted almost another nine minutes. I think it's gonna last nine minutes. Let's go over the polls really, really quickly. We got a Sewagen. Leave a Dragon Diodalus, which is actually an ultra, ultra rare card we have been missing. So that's really cool we pulled that. So definitely gonna go in the binder. And then we've got Obelisk the Tormentor, which is our Quarset Rare, as you can see from the 25th anniversary symbol. So we did actually have a pretty solid open just now. So I'm pretty happy with this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. There's still two more boxes in this case. And we I do plan on buying more displays and cases if they stay cheap. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.